Last night, Disney Plus dropped the first two episodes of Obi-Wan a few hours early at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Continue doing that. So big time spoilers ahead. I'm warning you right now, if you didn't see those two episodes yet. Get out! <laughs> The first episode marked the live action debut of the Grand Inquisitor, played by Rupert Friend, who is at odds with Reva, aka the third sister. By episode two, you know that Reva turns on the Grand Inquisitor and kills him. Excuse me? If you watch Rebels, which takes place five years after the Obi-Wan series, you'll know that the Grand Inquisitor there is alive and well, at least for a little while, so is death. Is that a big old plot hole? Debatable. Let me know what you think in the comments, but probably not. Grand Inquisitor has already risen from the grave once in Star Wars canon when his spirit was harnessed by Darth Vader. Plus, now we know Palpatine started playing around with clones, so that's a possibility too. 